Okay, so any time a negative emotion shows up? Yeah, isn't that great? <laughs> <laughs> Let's call it what it is. Okay. Any time awareness of resistance is mine. Now where I have gone in the past with that and it's getting better is I've done something wrong or... Yeah, but that's not true, is it? Right. What's the path of least <laughs> resistance? Negative emotion is pointing out how stupid I am or negative emotion is letting me know that this is a better direction. So regardless of what emotion shows Esther's up... Esther's following OnStar and she goes this way and OnStar wants her to go that way. She doesn't say, I'm a failure. <laughs> I've made a mistake. I don't deserve to ever be guided again. <laughs> she just gets back on the route. Sometimes it takes a little while because it's kind of hard to tell where it is. But there's no judgment here. There's no wrongdoing. There are just better choices and worse choices. But sometimes you have to make some not so good choices in order to identify what the better choices are. Mm -hmm. It's all part of molding the clay, molding the clay into being. Okay. Mostly what you are feeling and what you are describing and you can all relate to this it's jumping in too fast to the action without having done the preliminary vibrational work it goes back to the thing we talked about earlier how do you get rid of doubt before it starts how do you get rid of strong negative momentum by catching it in earlier stages mm -hmm. How do you get rid of self depreciation by catching it in early stages? How do you enhance alignment by catching it in early stages? In other words, it really is a sensitivity that you have and promoting what feels good. But what's at the basis of that is first, you got to accept that it's good for you to feel good. And a lot of you have been convinced otherwise. A lot of you have been convinced it's good for me to feel good while I watch you, but it's not good for you to feel good because if you feel too good, I might feel bad. In other words, an employer might say, it makes me feel bad when none of you come to work. And you all say, but it made us feel good not to come. <laughs> and then the employer says, well, I'm glad that you feel good, but I would feel better if you come to work. I would feel better if you or someone comes to work. And if you don't want to come to work, then I will find someone who wants to come to work. I will find someone compatible with what I'm doing. And then you say, oh, that sharpened my path of least resistance. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Maybe it does feel better for me to come to work. You're just all sorting it out with each other all of the time. But what trips you up is you're too interested in whether they specifically are coming to work rather than focused upon the work that you want to be met with a compatible partner. You see what we're getting mm -hmm. at? Can you feel that? Mm -hmm. It is our promise to you that when you sift through and find increasing alignment with who you are so that you're not offering active contradictory vibrations that the universe will deliver to you but more important you will be in the receptive mode to realize it to recognize it it's so fun it's so fun that's what clarity is and I feel it there are pieces of the pie where I feel like I'm really good at noticing that so you want some practical encouragement mm -hmm. listen less to what other people have to say trust your own instincts more you're tuned in you know you've got the big picture oh a conductor are you kidding someone who is the orchestra leader mm -hmm. talk about an overview so if you listened to each person that has something to say about what they want they all want you to highlight them you can't highlight each of them you have this broader perspective you see you're in a position in very practical terms to understand how the laws of the universe are working all together when you are in alignment with your idea of what you want and you hold that idea you practice that idea until you're able to hold it steadily the members of your orchestra must find alignment with that 
powerful pattern that you've presented but if you turn your attention to something individual mm -hmm. now you begin activating that now this isn't clear like it was right. and you get a lot of voices like that doing to you you end up with a hodgepodge don't you mm -hmm. you end up with something far from your vision so fun to be a member of a group who has a leader with clarity because that's where wonderful co-creation comes but there is no one who wants to always be a member of a group where someone else's clarity is leading everybody wants their own clarity to lead and everybody gets to do that but sometimes the path of least resistance is to join in harmony with the group sometimes the path of least resistance is to lead the group you just have to decide which moment this is mm -hmm. that was really good yeah, it was cool yeah. and this is just the recent like two or three days ago there was a real lull and I'm thinking and I'm I, I see give us more detail more lull lull just in feeling like I don't know if I can get a handle on everything that's, because what prompted it I'm looking at my desk and all this stuff that needs to get done that's so, let, so let's do some path of least resistance work here so you're looking at your desk what's on it oh schedules to create and rehearsals to schedule and sectionals and the part where I'm the one being looked at oh, that's in essence looked at to help everybody else get prepared and where they need to be I need to be all things to all people mm. <laughs> you sound like every mother in the room <laughs> so what's the path of least resistance I have too much to do or I'm good at this I'm good at this what's the path of least resistance I need to do this right now this red hot minute or inspiration will come and I will get it done inspiration will come and I'll get it done what's the path of least resistance I have too much to do I need help I'm really good at this and help sometimes gets in my way what's the path of least resistance I need to train somebody to get in here and clean up some of this or I'm really good at this when I get in the zone and I make short work of it what's the path of least resistance I'm making a big deal over nothing or yeah what's the path of least resistance I'm making a big deal over nothing or oh this is something that I really need to focus on you I'm just have to talk yourself into alignment can you see how the path of least resistance is a self-soothing process yeah. and what does it accomplish what does self-soothing accomplish it accomplishes a lower of resistance and therefore an increasing of allowance allowance of what alignment which means clarity which means awareness of what source who has broader view is showing you your path lights up it's more pleasurable everything's more fun you cannot lose by caring about how you feel and you cannot win by paying no attention to how you feel right and I think of what lit up for me today is if that moment should happen again now I have a different way of what moment of being overwhelmed yeah and or, so play it out for us in your mind what happened you when saw I get what? overwhelmed yeah. yeah I see it all and say like, oh um, I'll go get a cup of coffee <laughs> instead of doing it all or, well going and getting a cup of coffee might be a temporary path of least resistance for a moment but when you come back it's still gonna be right. there and so what really is the path of least resistance to make peace with that to accept that that's all part of this to acknowledge that you're good at this too to acknowledge that this is all part of the process yeah and that's where I think I've had a flawed premise in my mind whereas the finished product is always so exhilarating and fun and seeing everybody lit up as a result of what we've done and all that kind of stuff but leading up to it always feels less than but that is something really worth talking about because you can't have a happy ending to a journey that has not been happy uh, I didn't apply that to, okay so okay. you have to find a way to work the bugs out of that to get the bumps out of that you have to make peace with what that is either by hiring somebody who's good at it or by acknowledging that it's not as difficult as it seems or by acknowledging when I am 
out of the vortex when I'm not in alignment I just don't make as good of decisions and when I am things flow easily don't you know that mm -hmm. don't you have moments when everything just goes so easily because you have activated and engaged and are welcoming the help of the entire cooperative universe can't you tell when you've engaged the help of a cooperative universe and can't you tell when you've engaged the help of an uncooperative universe mm -hmm. can't you tell <laughs> what track you're on so let's say that you have performed concerts that sucked <laughs> and then you perform concerts that just were amazing so you know the difference mm -hmm. So couldn't you apply that to everything? Couldn't you have a miserable time just grinding through the details or couldn't you have a pleasurable time grinding through the details? Don't you realize that when you feel good, whatever you're doing feels good. Don't ask what you're doing to be the reason that you feel good, which brings us to the most important conversation of this day. Funny that we would leave it to the last minute. Conditional love or unconditional love conditional alignment or unconditional alignment most need the condition to change before the emotion changes you understand you change the emotion and the condition will change so let's talk about this evolution from a vibration to a thought to a word to an experience over here there are fewer conditions if you can work the bugs out over here where there aren't any conditions where it's just thought and feeling it's so much easier but if you wait until you're in the throes of rehearsals and too much to do and too many people and all of that then it's hard you got to work the bugs out of it over here mm -hmm. how do you get rid of doubt before you get it before it starts before it starts so if you feel overwhelmed you're right to go get a cup of coffee you're right to take another stance you're right to go get some sleep to take another run at it but don't keep practicing the thought that this is hard and this is the part I don't like to do start saying to yourself I like all parts of my life Esther's putting flyers on chairs last night and her staff doesn't want her to do it they don't think that she should and she says everything's fun to me it's all fun it's all fun this part's fun that part's fun too getting in the car and driving here that was fun getting on an airplane that's fun too it's all fun that it's all so fun it's all fun and it's all part of all of it because if you're just waiting until you're on the stage for the fun that's a little tiny part of your life and there's a whole lot of other things that ought to be fun like all of it it all ought to be fun it all ought to feel good it all ought to feel good Good enough. Yeah, it was. It yeah. was really good. Thank you. Yeah. Okay.